Okay, well, everybody, welcome back to the channel. In front of us today, we've got our uh, Weatherby Mark 5 22 250. I've taken it out for a bit of a uh, a bit of a run and um, uh, performed well as usual. I'm trying to uh, develop a couple of uh, a couple of uh, alternative loads uh, again. So uh, if and when we face these shortages again, you've always got a plan B and C to go to. So just do a recap what we've got in front of us. It's as I said, it's a Weatherby Mark V. It's shaded in uh, 22 to 50 Remington. Um, it's uh, fitted with an EGW Picatinny rail, some Vortex uh, Pro Series rings, and a loophole 4.5 to 14 by 50 scope. That's one of the old scopes, and they are absolutely clear as a bell. Um, really nice gun to hold, really nice gun to shoot, and it shoots really, really well. So uh, I'm not going to muck around. Let's get into it. All righty. Um, what we loaded up with, uh, we've loaded our 22-250 up. We're going to use two different types of powder today. We're going to use ADI-2206H, and we're also going to try the 2208, uh, which is highly, highly recommended. A lot of guys have a lot of good success with it. I've personally never touched it before. Um, this is the equivalent of Varget, ADI Hogden Varget. ADI actually make it, ship it over there, put it in a Hogden tin, but we don't get Hogden here and it's probably half the price over there. So there you go, but as I say, such is the lunacy of the firearms industry. Winchester large rifle primers, that makes it all go bang. And we've got two different types of projectiles. We've got the Hornady 55 grain VMAX, uh, little, oik, stay there. Little uh, flat base, red nosed little fella, had a lot of success with him in, in this rifle, the old 22-250, the Ruger that I've since moved on and in 223 as well. They're a very good, um, very good generic projectile. And we're also gonna use the, I don't know if I can ever make him sit straight in my hand. There he is. The uh, Sierra, uh, I don't know, Sierra Game King. He's a 55 grain. He's got a small little boat tail on him. He's a uh, soft point, uh, boat tail soft point. He's a Sierra Game King. He's known as the Superu. He's uh, number 1365, that's uh, his part number. Um, and he's among the cheapest projectiles on the market. They go all right, absolutely. A lot of the roost shooters you in there, they're a good thing, there's nothing much they won't stop. And um, as usual, use my two, my two standard uh, powder uh, loading guides. And uh, this one, yeah, the ADI book, as I always say, you can, uh, Get that one, most of the stuff online, these are new boutique calibers and powders and all that, so you should be able to get all that stuff still online, that's not an issue with ADI. And I'll just do my loading disclaimer before we move on. I load, uh, I load ammunition for me and me alone and for my rifles and my rifles alone. My ammunition that I load works in my rifles, it may or may not necessarily work in yours. I always say stay within safe manufacturers recommended safety parameters uh, start off low and works. Start off low and work slowly, slowly up the ladder until you get to uh, till you get to where you need to be. I do not recommend exceeding maximum uh, recommended powder weights and charges. And if you are if you are loading and you notice, notice any pressure signs whatsoever, even if you're not at maximum charge, stop, stop straight away and go backwards because you're you're loading it too much. Now these are my loads and I. Uh, I don't claim to be a professor or anything of reloading. This is all just what I do. Um, if you want to, uh, as I say, if you want to fill these things up to the brim with powder and turn them into absolute dynamite rocket ships and blow your face off, that's on you and not me. Right, let's have a look how we went. All righty, here we go. Results for the uh, load testing and development for the Weatherby Mark V 22250. Now, first cab off, well, I will say firstly, my standard load is uh, 35 and a half grains of 2206 pushing the 55 grain VMAX. It'll be great success with that load. And that shoots half to three quarters of an inch all day. It depends how well I do my job. And look, that can be sketchy at best, but anyway, I digress. Um, first up, we've got the uh, we've got the 2206 and we're gonna push the um, uh, Sierra Superus. Um, I've got an abundance of these and I'm having, having uh, Trolls and I'm you know, getting rid of them, so I, I, I want to find a load that this will shoot. We'll start with the 2206H. Okay, we've started at 34 grains up to the 35 and a half grain uh, maximum load. 34, whack, whack, whack. 0.531, half, 
half in half MOA, just a dot over half MOA. So that's not a bad kickoff. You'd be happy with that. We uh, cranked her up a cut. We cranked her up half a grain, thirty-four and a half. Point four five two. Gee, that's not bad. That's well under half MOA. So uh, already, already we're having a good time. We cranked her up another half a grain. Uh, a thirty-five grain. 0.38. This just keeps you getting better. And up to 35 and a half, 0.654. And I mean, if that's your worst group, that is your worst group of the day, 0.654 of an inch at 100 yards. Um, if that's your worst group, you're doing pretty well. So we've got four we can use straight up there. So we'll move that along. And uh, we'll get another card up. Now, we've gone to the uh, 2208, the, the Varget. The Varget. I'll just pick that up without breaking anything else. Yep. We've gone to the, var uh, the, um, the 2208, the Varget. Uh, and we're pushing the 55 grain Hornady VMAX. That is three shots. That is three shots in there. That is a 0.098. That is 0 0.098. That's three shots into that hole. You'd leave that there. Honestly, you'd move that maybe one up and one right, two up, one right, and that's that's you there. So all right, straight off the cuff, we've got a winner. We crank her up uh, 35 and a half, 0.537. We crank her up another half a grain to 36 grains of the uh, the 2208. I'll try and just get that up there. Down a little bit more so you can see it. There it is. We've gone to uh, get up. We've gone to uh, 0.471. So you're still under half MOA. You're not even you're not even close to a one inch group here. So yeah, there's three you could use. 36.5. The um, the max load for the uh, 2208. Oh, terrible. 0.639. That's a terrible group. You'd, you'd take that all day. So there we go, we've got two different projectiles, two different powders, um, four different charges with each. All eight loads are quite usable. So it's either a feast or a famine with these rifles by the looks of it. You know, it, it, they'll either give you nothing or they give you that much you don't know what to do with it, which uh, seems to be the case here. All right, so now we're gonna push the uh, Super Ruse with the 2208. We're gonna use the same powder charges. We've gone 0.833. Hang on, bring that down so you can see it. That'll be a better idea. There it is. There it is, that's better. 0.833. Boom, boom, and that'll be me. Boom, boom, that'll be me. So that was going somewhere, so that's a winner. We are cranking him up to 35 and a half, 0.296. Where is he? There he is. 0.296 of an inch at. Um, at 100 yards, that's fair. Look at that. That's three there as well. And that's about where you'd want to leave it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't adjust it. You wouldn't really want to adjust it um, after that. That's fine where that is. Um, that's 0 0.203, so 0 0.2 MOA. That's three shots in that hole. That's three shots in that raggedy little hole there. 0 0.203 of an inch. Yeah, fair. Crank her up to 36.5. They were the first two, so that was going somewhere. That was going somewhere. And, oh, look at me. I did the worst group of the day at 0.832. So there we go. We've shot three, four, eight, 12. We shot 12 groups, all well under MOA. And this one that was way, that was way the worst group of the day, that was going somewhere until I buggered it up, which is what I do. Like that one over there, that top first one up there. So, but that, that's like, again, but if that's the worst fly you're gonna get, you know, your life's doing all right. So, yeah, it's a feast or a famine, isn't it? You, uh, I've got 12 loads I could use here, so you gotta just sort of, sort of pick the eyes out of that. So um, we'll wrap this one up. Right, um, we're done. And we probably learned a little bit too much. We, and we also learned a lot about what we already knew. Quality rifle, quality optic, quality ammunition, and then this case of doing a good quality hand-loaded uh, ammunition, I do put a bit of effort into that, 
and um, a bloke sitting behind the thing who actually does his job most of the time. That's the results you can get out of these things. And you do this so you can go out on your, your little hunting trips and your trips away with your, you know, with, with, with your mates and all that sort of thing. And you've got every confidence in your gear. Your confidence in your, your, confidence in your firearm, you're confident in your, uh, in your ammunition that nothing's gonna let you down. So when the big shot comes, you're good to go. It's, it's like going fishing and you haven't replaced the line on your fishing rod and you use, lose the fish of a lifetime because you're too miserable to spend you know, $20 replacing some fishing line. So it's as simple as that. And uh, it's always good to have uh, multiple loads. Uh, again, in case we get one of these um, COVID scandemic type famines of stuff and all that, and you get some, you've got to have a bit lined up now because you never know when the price is going to go through the roof. But that's a debate for another day. So um, information overload, you might say, and an embarrassment of riches of what this gun, or what this rifle will actually do. So um, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. I've got a, uh, an abundance of those uh, Sierra projectiles to use and I'll be able to get rid of those. So that, that's, uh, that's really good. That's really good. So quite happy with that. And um, yeah, there'll be no more testing for this thing now. We know I was just doing this will last me forever now. So we're all good. So I'm gonna put this one to bed. Um, done and dusted. Um, if you like the video, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up, that'd be really good. Subscribe to my channel, that'd be even better. I'm not gonna promise you anything because there's nothing to promise, but except good entertainment and a bit of quality information because there's more of these uh, videos coming. I've got stacks more of them lined up and I'll just get them out as and when I can. So um, thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video. And um, until next time, as I always say, you can tell your wife, you can tell your girlfriend, you can tell them both. Don't have too many options there though. Just go two clicks up. Ta-da.